Let's install a 1970s vintage Scandinavian wall unit here in my Los Angeles apartment. Hi, I'm Ethan. Today's kind of a gloomy day here in LA, which I love because they're pretty rare and perfect for doing a indoor home project. So if you haven't yet, grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or wine or water, whatever you drink, get comfortable because we're about to get into the video. So for today, we're going to be bringing some new life to my living room and making it a space that I actually want to hang out in and create content in. Since moving into this apartment back in September of 2021, this living room has gone through <laughs> many eras, <laughs> which is honestly common for most parts in my home. I feel like I'm constantly redoing all the different areas of my apartment, which is just something I've always done since I was a little kid. I used to like move my parents' furniture around when I was younger and like try to like curate the space when I was a little kid, which is funny because I had no business doing that and it used to drive my mom crazy. Anyway, that's carried through to my adult life. I love getting new furniture. I love swapping out pieces in my space. I love changing up the vibe. It just, for me, home environment's like such an important thing because I obviously live in my home. I work in my home, I create in my home. There's just so many things that happen here and I want it to be a space that feels good. Today we are starting fresh because I came to the conclusion that part of the reason the room is always changing is because there isn't one singular item in here that kind of anchors the vibe of the room, but that changes today. I came across this beautiful 1970s Scandinavian wall unit on Facebook Marketplace, and I've seen tons of photos of these things on Pinterest, Instagram, you know, lots of beautiful spaces that feature this element in like a living room environment. I've always wanted one of these, but they're really hard to find. And second of all, when you do find them, they're generally really expensive or not in the best condition, or, you know, there's always like a trade-off. For me personally, because it's something that you literally mount in the wall, I didn't want to drop like five, six, seven thousand dollars on it because, like I said, constantly changing my vibe. I also am one to move into a new space if I find something that I really like. I feel like I'm gonna be in my apartment for probably about six to eight months at least. I'm really thankful that LA has such a good Facebook marketplace selection, which is great for people like me who love to redo their space and you know wanna find cool things. So I found a unit on sale for $2,800. I threw out an offer to these people for $2,000 and they ended up accepting it. It's still pricey, but this is a piece you keep for a really long time. So I felt like it was worth it and I thought it would make for a fun home project. The front door literally opens right into the living room. So for me, it's important that the living room makes a great first impression. This unit will be the first thing people see when they walk in. So I want my space to serve as a beautiful, inspiring environment. First things first, I'm gonna start clearing out some of the books and things that are just in the area. I'm gonna try to empty the contents in that media unit. It's gonna be a process, so we'll try to speed right along through it and get to the fun stuff. I do also wanna make a quick note. My living room is not in its final form. There are pieces of furniture that I have in here that I've gotten. Pretty much everything is from Facebook Marketplace or secondhand. I, I honestly very rarely buy anything new unless it's like a super particular item that I just cannot find on Marketplace. So there are certain pieces that we will be using today for styling that will most likely change over the coming weeks or months. If you want to keep up with those updates in more real time, I would definitely encourage you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post home content, but also like a lot of other content relating to beauty, fragrance, style, all the good stuff. I'm super excited about today's video. It's gonna be a good one, so make sure you also hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment letting me know what is your home style. I'm always curious to know what people are really into these days. Like I said, my style is always changing, so drop a comment and let me know what your home style is in and whether that's like a style that you personally like or it's just inspired by kind of the space that you live in. Because I know that certain home environments kind of inspire your style to evolve. For example, the space that I'm in is very like, it's like an older Spanish style home. There's a lot of details and decor elements that are built in here, like the tile and floor and the mantle that just kind of speak to a specific style and have really encouraged me and allowed me to evolve my style from being probably more modern leaning to a little bit more like vintage Spanish, 
Scandinavian, French. I am by no means a professional at decorating. I truly do it for the pure enjoyment of it and just thought this would be a fun video for you guys to follow along and watch. I just know the end result's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna look so good. Let's get this stuff all cleaned out and we will get started on the install. All right guys, so this is all the pieces to the wall unit. I'm excited to see how it all looks once the task rabbit gets here. We'll open it up, check it all out, make sure it's good to go, and then we'll start the process of installing the wall unit. So we are basically just gonna take the sconce off the wall and we're gonna cover it up with these wall hole covers that I found on Amazon. I hope these are big enough to cover the hole. I really don't know. I'm hoping for the best here. If they do not cover the hole, then we're gonna have to go get something bigger. I think these should be fine. Oh, I completely forgot to tell you guys, there was a TV right here on that entertainment console. I took it off last night, so it's no longer there, but in case you're wondering why that's just a big empty space or missing, there was a TV there. It's gone now, it's in my bedroom, so yeah. Okay, the task rabbit said that he just arrived, so we're gonna go let him in and get started on the process. Old-fashioned key, And then after that, we're gonna put the patch on it so it'll cover up that hole there. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. So we had run into a couple of issues. There were some bolts missing and just like hardware issues with the wall unit. None of it is like make or break, just more kind of frustrating because with a lot of vintage pieces, some of the bolts or hardware that you need for a complete functionality of the piece, uh, it's really hard to find replacement pieces for those. And because I got the item for a really good price, I can kind of forgive it, but you know, still, kind of frustrating, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make the best of it. It's already so beautiful looking. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely it, because there's a little notch for 
thumb for him. There you go, I figured it out. Kaden, the task rabbit, just left. There are a few things that I want to figure out. I'm trying to get these doors on this bay, but one of the bolts at the bottom is missing. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out. If there's a will, there's a way. This is where my hard headedness really comes in to my benefit because I'm gonna figure something out. <laughs> We'll just make sure nobody touches this. We'll put like a warning sign on it because I, I've got it now where it'll, it'll open and close, but a little apprehensive about this whole setup. It's, uh, I don't know. It came with a little key. I don't know if it's gonna focus on the key or what, but I think if I lock these doors with this key, it'll somewhat stay shut. Yeah, good enough. Okay, we got it, we got it figured out. <laughs> chairs and a couch for a while. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to invest in that soon, <laughs> but for the sake of today's video, we're gonna work with what we've got. I am about to move the other chair over, so let's see how it looks. <laughs> They're literally so big. Okay, I'm not really feeling this. It's weird that these two accent chairs are like wider collectively than that love seat sofa thing. I almost wonder if I swapped them, if it would look better that way. But to be honest, that seems like a lot for today. I might just put this back right there on the side, let that be what it is, and then we'll just move this chair back in the center and kind of go with the original setup we had. This is just literally the process. Like you have to always mess around with your space until you find what works or like, you know, let's make some of these adjustments and we will see how it looks. We're basically going back to what we had before. So that's fun. Space is basically ready to go. I am so obsessed with the way that it turned out. It feels beautiful, it feels homey. It's just like everything that I wanted it to be. I'm gonna make a few little last minute style changes, but I'm super excited to show you guys the finished product. So let's get ready for the big reveal in three, two, one. guys well that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching once again if you are not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button below also like this video and be sure to follow me on instagram tiktok i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you on the next video bye guys